we are going to take a look at how to get additional forms into the Forms Central program so that you can customize them using the design aspects within Forms Central. So I'm in the My Forms. I simply opened up Forms Central on my system. And I do have two forms within this area, but those are Forms Central forms. What I want to do is bring in a different form. So I'm going to go over to the Create New Form tab, and notice there's an option here called Import a PDF Form. I'll go ahead and select that, and it does require you to sign in in order to do this. So I'll go ahead and sign in, and then I'll show you the interface once I'm actually signed in. Now that I've signed into my account, I get a welcome up in the upper right corner. Now in case you didn't have an account with Adobe, you would want to create one. There's a link there to create a new account. So I'm going to import a PDF form. I need to click import in order to do that. And what it allows me to do is, this is a little flash interface, it allows me to go out and get a form from my system. So I'll go ahead and do that. Within the course files, I will add the Nautilus Travel Job Description, and I'll click Open. What it's going to do is upload this into Forms Central. Now, this was not an actual form, so notice what happened. What I need to do is actually choose a file that has form fields attached to it. So just be aware, you do need form fields on the form in order for Forms Central to recognize that it is actually a form. So I'll do that one more time. Import a PDF. And I don't want to upgrade, but notice here it tells me that I've reached the maximum number of online forms allowed. So I have to upgrade. So if I click the Upgrade button, what it does is move me out into the Adobe website where I can upgrade for Form Central, and there are some paid features. But this gives you a good overview of what's available within Form Central for free. So with your Acrobat Pro license, at least at this point in time, and these features can tend to change as well as the pricing, but this is what you can do within the free version. Convert forms to PDF, edit existing ones, create and edit new, and create and edit new. So down here, you can analyze some responses, graph, some results and share and collaborate. But you get a lot more features if you actually purchase this as a service. So just be aware that there is a limit to what you can do within Form Central. <laughs> For some reason, these templates didn't load right away. And so you have to be careful when you're importing. So let me try that once more and you can see I have to upgrade in order to do any more. Now within my forms, you can see I have the one form that is allowed for me. So if I select that and hit delete, what it's going to do is give me access to uploading one more form. So I'll try that once more. Import a PDF form, go through the import process, but this time, I'm actually going to choose the one that says form. Let's hope this one actually is a form and it's uploading. Nope, it looks like it's not. So you can get stuck within this area and when you do, notice that time it didn't add anything for me. So import a form, I'll go ahead and import and let me import that cake order form. I know that's a form and it has form fields, so I can show you once I import this. So it uploads it out to Form Central, and then you actually can work through 
all these different pieces of Form Central because I've moved off the desktop version of Form Central and I've moved into the online version. And the online Form Central service that I needed to sign into offers all six of these capabilities within your Forms Central form. But you can see the free version of Forms Central just allows you to do this with one form. So that's an overview of Forms Central, how to import a form. And once it's imported, you can move into working with all these different pieces within Forms Central itself, including submitting the form. You can view the responses within this area. And there is a slight delay after my clicking it. But what this allows you to do is gather your response data in a really nice manner. This is somewhat similar to the distribute form piece within Acrobat itself. Here's a summary report of all the responses. So you can get into some charting services. And if you want to upgrade to more forms or a stronger level of service, that's what this upgrade piece is all about. So that is the Forms Central piece and specifically the online version. You do need to register for an Adobe account and sign in in order to move into this piece of Forms Central. The other piece allows you to work on your own desktop you just don't have as many pieces or options to Form Central unless you're in the online version. So that's an overview of the Form Central online service that's available to you with your Acrobat license. It installs it on the desktop, but you're also available or it's available for you to be able to use online.